I would say 90% of my problems were solved once I took a mentor and all I had to do was stay consistent, do whatever the task she gave, gave me and just focus on building a habit of uh, going through the long term uh, instead of like uh, setting a very short goal and expecting big things. I'm Sai Vishal from Chennai and I completed my B.Tech at Production Engineering at NIT Trichy uh, around June 2020 and I joined Citicorp as a technology analyst around August 2020 and I worked on that role for a year and I switched to another team uh, inside Citicorp itself and I am working as a software developer till, till the current date. Like many people, I wanted to take a switch and explore more opportunities and challenge myself out there. I started my preparation around August. That's when I started preparing my DSA. My my preparation journey started. I knew what to do on DSA part. So I completed DSA myself, but I had no idea on system design whatsoever. And I came across pre-placed over Google uh, from Strivers video tutorials and all and I heard this is a very good place for a mentorship to upskill or learn new things and then I reached out to Bawai around October last week I guess of 2023 and then he suggested me to go with Priyansha Sharma she is she has a first hand experience on this on being a mentor and her, her resume certainly spoke for itself being uh, having coached over like 200, 300 students uh, having like 10,000 mentorship uh, minutes, being a software developer at Microsoft, her resume certainly speak, speaks for uh, itself. And that is the reason why I chose to go, uh, go and take a trial class with her. And I would say now that I think of, at, at the start, I would say I was a bit hesitant on spending some amount of money for mentorship since I believed that I could do it by myself. But now that I think about it, I would say every penny was worth it. And I would suggest other people to take it as well. If they, It's okay to spend pennies if you're going to get dollars, right? So that is the main motive. And pre-place this, definitely a good to go place for this. And I took a trial class with Priyansha Sharma. She basically saw my resume and if I was planning to join the mentorship under her, she basically gave me a roadmap of what we will do where I currently stand at. And we moved on to um, to the mentorship journey. And the first week basically went through with full resume revamp, I would say. So she gives me some tips. I make the changes. I give it to her for review. And she gives me the feedback. It We went back and forth uh, throughout the whole uh, I would say like four or five days and I would say the way she meticulously uh, revamped my resume it made a lot of difference as uh, I started quickly getting calls from like top companies like Amazon and Nutanix even without referrals so I, I will say that she knew what she was doing she knew what companies expect and, cert and that certainly uh, speaks for her experience and post which uh, I was good at data structures and algorithms, but what I was not good at was handling the interview pressure. So after conducting a couple of sessions on DSA, she came to know what I wanted. And basically I, I was like uh, made to take uh, rigorous mock interviews on DSA. And that is the reason now that I think about it, uh, if I think about how many DSA uh, interviews I have attended, I would say 10 interviews, okay? I would say out of the, those 10, 8 or 9 were, were like almost cakewalk to me or slightly difficult. But I was the main thing was that I was able to remain perfectly calm, okay? Uh, that is the main thing that, that was there. And... And that was thanks to her, her real view of simulate a real time simulation of a of an actual interview using mock interviews, and 
that is the reason why i was able to like smoothly go past all the all the interviews uh, so for dsa like i wasn't even preparing that much like oh ho oh, so a dsa interview is coming up i have to do six seven problems a day no i was just doing two to three problems and i knew i was i'll be calm here and there i missed up one or two interviews but at the end of the day i could say i i have improved thanks to a training and about system design right i had no idea what was happening like before i joined her i uh, joined uh, took the mentorship under her so she basically taught a uh, from scratch how to think uh, she basically built, drilled the framework onto my mind on how to approach a system design problem i think i have attended two to three high level design interviews in total out of all the interviews i have attended and i could say i pretty much nailed all of the high level design interviews it's similar to dsa except she taught me everything from scratch and after that we took like one to two, uh, two to three mock interviews i was made to take mock interviews till she was confident in my ability to believe that i can handle if i am being given the same situation in a real time interview so that was basically my mentorship journey under priyansha uh it was 3 months i started october end okay and okay. i took till january and i paused one session because i had an interview in google so okay. which i took one month later so it went from november start to feb end or march first week so i would say it's 3 uh, months uh two sessions per week so 24 sessions i guess 24 or 32 i'm not sure uh, but it was 3 months dur- duration i guess before getting to know about system design right i would have failed two or three interviews and i would have learned the hard way and that was totally avoided because of this mem- mentorship and same for dsa but since i prepared a lot on dsa myself i would say i would have lost one interview on dsa before learning how i am actually supposed to approach a dsa interview so that time frame like one dsa interview and two to three system design interviews how mu- how much ever the time frame is that would have been delayed like let's say one month or two that would have been a learning curve and that was avoided by taking up a rigorous mock interviews i would say 90% of my problems were solved once i took a mentor and all i had to do was stay consistent do whatever the task she gave me and just focus on building a habit of uh, going through the long term uh, instead of like right. uh, setting a very short goal and expecting big things so that's okay, where this mentorship came into play